guys welcome to my channel or welcome back in this video I am going to be showing you guys how I part for large box braids in my previous video I showed you guys how I parted for medium so now for the large I know that I'm going to want three rows on each side so first step like I always do is part down the middle to break up the front into two sections and both of them sections I'm going to have three rows on each side with the amount of rows that I am doing, you can also consider this for jumbo. So instead of large, it can be jumbo. So the reason why I said more of a large because my boxes are going to be more of a large size than an actual jumbo size. But the rows can go for jumbo size braids. You're just going to make your boxes jumbo sized. My client wants to do triangle parts instead of the square parts. We're still going to part our rows exactly the same as if we were doing square parts. All we're doing is just making them triangle instead. So now I'm going to part down the middle to use this middle part as my guide to do my rows equally on each side. Okay, so I've already finished the rows on the right hand side so now to the left I'm going to do the exact same thing I'm going to make the three rows first and then I'm going to use those rows to guide and make the rows in the back remember to try to make your rows all the same size if you see that when you're parting your rows one of the sections is a little bit smaller or bigger you can always go and fix it. That's one of the things I feel that is smart with pre-parting or is helpful with pre-parting is that you can always fix stuff before you start braiding.
okay so now that the three sections are complete I am going to part out the bottom section from ear to ear mind you I already did it on the opposite side so all I'm going to do is follow the opposite side and do the same thing on this side so at the bottom I'm going to part it out from the middle right on top of the ear so that'll be the its own section So now the bottom row is parted out on its own section so that I can start with the middle rows. Since the other side is done, I'm really just using it as my guide. So that middle part, of course, is my guide. You just take that and keep going until you make sure it aligns with your three sections. If it does not align with your three sections, something is off, just go back and fix it to where it all aligns together.
okay so all three rows are now complete I took the three rows in the front and guided that in the middle and that made equally three rows I did that on both sides so now I have my bottom section so I decided I wasn't going to do two rows back here I just wanted to do one because mind you I'm more so doing like a large jumbo thing so I thought if I added another row it would kind of throw off the size that I'm going for but for you if you're doing this and you're doing the exact same rows as me if you feel like you needed to add another row at the bottom maybe this leaving it as one row is too big definitely do that this is just something that I'm doing for the size that I'm going for this is why I chose to do it this way but definitely add another row if you feel like it is too big I will show you guys just a few rows of me doing the triangle parts but how I do the triangle I always use the middle which is my guide that middle part to start off my triangles that's how I do them all I always start in the middle using my guide and then it'll help me flow with doing the rest of them I've been drinking, I've been drinking I get filthy when that liquor get into me I've been thinking, I've been thinking Why can't I keep my fingers on the road? I want you Why can't I keep my fingers off you, baby? I want you I've been drinking, I've been drinking I get filthy when that liquor get into me I've been thinking, I've been thinking Why can't I keep my fingers on the road? I want you Why can't I keep my fingers off you, baby? I want you Oh, 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 
so of course i'm gonna do a couple of braids for you guys to see it's the exact same way as if i'm gonna be braiding with medium size or small the only difference is you're gonna be using more hair so you're gonna start by saturating the hair and then splitting it into three equal parts and start feeding the hair into the braid so you're gonna start off smaller and then gradually go bigger into the size that you desire and that's how you complete your feed and braid make sure you continue watching if you want to see the finished look and if you liked it if this was helpful make sure you give me a like comment down below and subscribe if you're not subscribing thank you guys for watching Thank you.